just needed to spend so much time on these issues. I will try to sum up the final lecture um, quickly, as quickly as I can. And some of the issues that I want to talk about have already been addressed by the speakers because it is about the nature of European patterns and how you use them in litigation currently and in the future. So the last topic is just to explain to you what really a European patent at this stage is. And we have talked about the differences between European patents and national patents earlier. So a national patent is a patent that is granted for a country and valid in the country. Um, and so on this slide we show you an example of a very small country with a small population, it's Germany. And if you have a German patent that is granted according to German patent law and is valid only within Germany. Then if you want to have protection in other countries, there are many things that you are pro already familiar with from your education. One is the concept of priority, which allows you to make follow-up applications in different countries while preserving the priority date of your first filing. The other is the PCT system, which allows you to file an international application with effect to many contracting states. And the final aspect is the European patent, which is a patent that is actually granted with the effect for member states, member states of a treaty which we call the European Patent Convention or EPC. This is a a map showing the current European member states. So most of the countries you will not recognize, they are all very small, even the biggest ones are small compared to China. Um, and what you see is that the number of countries is more than, than the European Union. It's 38 European states, including Turkey, um, and two extension states. And in all of these countries, you can obtain patent protection with a single unified granting procedure. This is where the European patents are born. This is the photograph of the headquarter of the European Patent Office in Munich. But there are also several further office buildings in Munich. There's even more office buildings in The Hague, in the Netherlands. And there's another branch office also in Berlin. This is a very short and simple summary of the granting procedure of European patents. So you see in this slide that it is divided in two halves. The upper half, which is in yellow, is what we call the regional phase. Regional means it is the same for all EPC contracting states. And in this regional phase, you apply for the patent at the EPO, and then you have a search for prior art carried out by the EPO and it is also the EPO that eventually grants the patents. And with the grant of the patent, the EPO, the regional phase terminates and the EPO loses competence over the patents. Because from the grant, as has been mentioned several times by Dr. Rübeck and also by Dr. Hamann, they grant a bundle of national patents according to common wisdom. There are some limitations to that and that is actually 
to make this notion a little bit more precise is the main aim of my presentation. <laughs>